Hello, friends. So you know how sometimes we have this one project that we really want to do, something that we're like, it's right about to pop, but we just need a nudge. We need like, you know, like the mama bird to kind of swing us off the nest to fly, spread those wings. Well, consider this your mama bird, your divine nudge from the universe telling you to start today. So we are in the midst of a really powerful new moon, really powerful new moon energies. I'm speaking about the new moon in Virgo, end of August. Now, if you're watching this later, don't look away, stick around because trust that you're receiving this message and listening to it whenever it is that it does come your way. Because the fact that it was created with this new moon energy actually superpowers its intention and its energy. So, um, start today. Why with this new moon? Well, we've been undergoing some really powerful shifts and transformations, inner, outer, all the way. You can check back some of my recent videos where I expand more on all the ways we've been stretching and growing. And this new moon here comes along to help us start something new and with a Virgo energy to help us align with a new sense of focus and with rhythm new rhythms, new structures, and new day-to-day -day actions that will actually help us to sustain what I'm calling the leaps we take from this moment forward. As you can see, it's a very sunny day in Miami. Here comes the sun. So one of the things I feel is particularly helpful about this time is we've had all these changes, right? And so now we're really looking at ourselves and the world through new eyes. Even if it's not super obvious to you right now, there's a lot of ways that you've changed. You're not the same person you were a few months ago. And so now it's the time when we can actually begin to develop more of the trust in our new wings. As we're learning to walk again, as we're learning to kind of step out and try things that almost seem, not that it, you're doing it for the first time, although some things might be for the first time, but even things that you're used to doing before, there's a new freshness and a new authenticity, a new sense of freedom about the energy. And that's in part greatly because of all the changes that Uranus has supported us with. A lot of that um, transformation of clearing out anything that's not who you are. So imagine if you're feeling called right now to do anything new, to use this as a time to build some momentum, to strengthen those leaping muscles, see leaping as, a, as an art form, something that you can strengthen in your system spiritually that you can even strengthen your nervous system because doing new things feels very nerve-wracking at times anytime we step outside of our comfort zone but i'm a firm believer that anytime we do that we stretch ourselves a little bit more and we're able to expand the plate of what is possible for us and a leap really is a shift in frequency you're rewriting your story from a story that may have said you couldn't do something because of X, Y, Z to, but what if I try? And what if I'm gentle with myself? And what if like, I tenderly stretch my wings, but take some action that moves me forward? And so the one ritual that I would recommend that you do for this particular new moon is to start something new. It can be simple, something that brings you joy, but definitely start something new. And again, whenever it is that you're watching this video, take that to heart as some sort of a sign to do that, as a symbolic gesture of uh, opening up avenues of new growth for you. Um, I wrote something yesterday that I'd love to read for you and hopefully will inspire you. It's called Start Today. Start today to shift your perspective, to embrace your inner and outer transformation, to release the old baggage that weighs you down. Start today to say yes to new butterflies in your stomach, to ignite your curiosity by trying something new, to take a fresh new step in a fresh new direction, to discover who you've been created to be. Start today to ask for help, to know that you deserve it, to pause just because. Start today to foster your connection with the divine, to celebrate your soul's unique beauty, to lean towards the mystery, to play with the cosmos. Start today 
to step back and look at the vision for your life, to align with your deepest truth and to persevere with renewed joy, to set intentions that give you chills, to grow beyond fear. Start today. And so let the words sink into you for a moment, this idea of starting today, something, one thing, and then setting the intention to follow through any project, any goal that's calling you right now. There's one thing that you can step forward. Or maybe it's trying something new that you haven't done before. Maybe it has nothing to do with your business or your projects or your 2022 goals or whatever. You know, we, we set sometimes all these intentions and, and goals and things that without even really taking a step back and looking at the vision for what do we value? What is really important for us? Not just checking the boxes of what you're supposed to do or people are telling you you should do, what you're supposed to do at a certain age or at a certain um, chapter in your life or in a certain space. What do you wanna do? This is the gift of Uranus as well. And Uranus and Taurus, which has been recalibrating and refining how we value what we do, how we value who we are, our sense of self-worth, our unique identity in this world. And when it comes to how we generate resources and how it comes when we just connect with this earth right here, right now. It's a very powerful and profound shift we've gone through. And here comes this new moon in Virgo. Virgo, the sign of routine, of day-to-day -day actions, this archetype of service, of health and wellness, of what we do every day. And this sign is here now and this energy to support us in starting to build the things that will sustain us, the routines, the new structures, the rhythms that are going to support us moving forward towards the end of this year and the beginning of next year because lots of new things are coming. I can feel it. I can feel it in my system. So allow this season to move you forward, kind of like a wave. We're right now in this moment where we can like look back. Also, not to mention there are a, a few planets that are going in retrograde. Jupiter is in retrograde. Uranus just went into retrograde. Mars is gonna go into retrograde. And all this means is it's a period of review, of integration, of kind of like, it's almost like the wave that kind of goes back. Look at the expanse and the vision of, of your life. Look at the vision. And what will emerge are actually the simpler things around what brings you joy what you see as success on your own terms, what you value. And then we're gonna be kind of propelled forward in a way that I want us to be prepared for. And this is why I've kept feeling very intuitively into supporting as many people as feel called to start stretching our wings so that when the bigger leaps come, the bigger leaps that you will inevitably want to take, especially as you start next year with this fresh new energy of the calendar year, you feel like, okay, I've already taken some leaps. What's next is, it, it, it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna scare you as much, period, because you will have practiced certain things that you didn't know you could do. And so start an art project, share your voice, go out and play and do something with your kids that you've never done before. Um, call somebody and say, hey, why don't we go out and do something kind of crazy, and, you know, out of the realm of what we see as comfortable. If there's something in your business that you've been wanting to do, start to do it. If you've been wanting to get closer to working with the divine and your intuition, buy a set of oracle cards, you know, take a new class, something that just delights your soul. Something that says, mm, this is really juicy. Because that fuel, that fuel is gonna keep you going no matter what the circumstances are in your life. And trust me, I know what hard circumstances are. I live them every day. And so I see how precious every moment is. I see how precious our creative energy is. And however many of us can keep vibing in that space of sparking new things and honoring everything we've gone through and grown through, man, that's how we make this world a better place. Man and woman. Woman, I should say. Both. Everybody. 
So know that once you step into your momentum and your truth, you'll begin to tear down some of the walls that are holding you back from your potential. There's always the seed of potential in you. And most of the thing that keeps us back from moving into the next is the stories and the stuff. And this is by no means a hustle kind of message. This isn't a, oh, you gotta, you know, fake it till you make it and hustle through it. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I do not vibe that way. I never really did. But a few years ago, I did kind of subscribe to that. No more, no longer, no. Um, this is about aligning with who you are. This is about really looking at the spaces where you know there's a seed of growth and actually having the desire and the willingness to trust your soul enough to go for something that might feel a little bit scary, but you know is going to feed your heart, your mind, and your spirit moving forward. So what are you starting today? What would you like to start today? Really think about it, give it some thought, give it some heart. Share it in the comments below, put it out in the universe, get those magical wheels going, create that momentum, know that you are capable of such great things. We all are. It's really truly magic when we can align with the things that we're passionate about and actually try them out without the fear of failure, but just looking at it from a place of experimentation. Like what is possible here? Not what if I fail, but just the, hey, what if? What if? It's a beautiful question to ask yourself. So I'm gonna head back home from my walk because this is really hot. It's beautiful, that's hot. If you wanna join me for the free Take a Leap class series, there's a link below and this is four days to help you liberate, initiate and activate something new. All the stuff we've been talking about today, the link for that will be below. I even have this beautiful uh, printable that you can download and follow class by class. And uh, thank you so much if you enjoy this content. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing with your friends. It means a lot from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you and helping me grow this little space in the internet. And if you're curious about these kinds of conversations, I have a beautiful community called the Rise of the Creatrix where I talk about astrology every week. We talk about tarot and expanding our consciousness in all the juicy ways. So with all my love and stardust, I really look forward to hearing and seeing how you're gonna start something miraculous today. And uh, where it takes you moving forward. Know that the world is yours, always. And it really is a marvelous time to be alive. Be well. See you next time. Bye.